beautiful people the first thing I'm going to show you is from the front view and then we'll work on the back view so you want to start with your uh, pirouette uh, if you're watching this video you should be intermediate level therefore you should kind of already know how to do a pirouette so I'm not really going to go over that you can watch the video I'll put a link in the description for how to do pirouettes if you're not familiar so we're going to be doing a pirouette uh, right now my inside arm is my right arm uh, and I'm going to be stepping with my outside leg which is my left leg in front and I'm going to be going into my pirouette with my bent leg after that i'm going to straighten the inside leg tilt my hips outwards for those of you that are here for the first time welcome so i'm doing this motion right here kind of like if you want to kick someone sideways right i am tilting right almost as if i want to stick my butt out but really you're sticking your butt out towards the pole so stick your butt out towards the pole now I'm going to be able to hook that leg. Let me show you from this angle. I'm going to be able to tilt my hips and hook that leg. If I don't tilt my hips, if I don't tilt my hips, it's going to be very hard to hook that leg how I want to if my hips stay normal. I need to really tilt my hips so I can really get that nice grip behind the knee. I'm really gripping nice and hard using my hamstring muscles to pull that pole in. At the same time, after you're done with your pirouette, you're going to tilt. At the same time, you're going to start reaching across with the outside arm and start turning into your pull. You're going to be pulling with your both arms as you continue to turn into the pull. It's going to look something like this, right? Boom. Pull and turn into the pull. You're going to use that bottom leg to also push into the pole and help you start to rotate even more. So hook, grab, pull, try to start getting underneath your own top arm. The idea is to try to get the left arm or the arm that was originally your outside arm. This is my left arm. The idea is to get that armpit into the pole. Boom, and end up here. You want to end up in your armpit hold, your strong hold, which is bicep against the pole, elbow squeezing in, hand low by the face above that shoulder, and upper arm is pulling as well. This hold right here is a beautiful thing. Many things can happen with this hold. It's very strong. Elbow in, bicep squeezing, pulling down as well. Don't have this hand high, low. So let's take a look at that again. Inside arm is high. Outside arm is gonna step across my body and I'm gonna do my pirouette bending my inside leg, right? Bending my, and bringing my heel to my knee. My hand's gonna re-grip. Hopefully you know how to do your pirouette. And when I'm finished with my pirouette, I'm gonna connect it straight into this move. I'm gonna tilt my hips out, make sure that the knee pit grabs onto the pole. And from there, I am using the momentum of my pirouette to help me Continue that momentum and get up into my, into my twirl. So boom, boom, hook, ride that momentum and try to land in your strong hold. As you're twirling in midair, bend your knees. Then as you come to your finish or to your landing position, play with straightening the legs before you land. But don't worry so much about the legs at first. Worry more on the hook, because once you get the hook, then you can work on controlling the legs. So if you land in a squat at first, that's fine. Worry about getting quickly into that hook, especially if you lack strength. If you lack strength, you kind of want to go fast. You need to act quickly because unless you have the strength, you're going to be sliding down. So you want to act quickly if you lack that strength. Outside leg across, pirouette immediately, bum, 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 and try to control your landing but notice how really my hold is what helps me people think that you know that the legs are working so much it's usually a combination of upper body and leg work um, 
there's no way that my legs can handle such a nice control fall okay in order for me to have a controlled fall i need to really use my upper body a lot to really suspend me so i can land controlled okay so pole is a lot of a lot of upper body but you're intermediate so you already know this let's take a look at this from the back view back view inside arm is my right arm left leg outside leg is going to step across and i'm going to go into my pirouette bending my right leg heel to the knee and turn tilt my hips hook go for my spin and try to land facing my audience and one more time a little bit faster outside leg steps pirouette immediately into your hook full twirl and control your landing in front of your audience release the top arm if you want do a little caress caress whatever your style is right now write me in the comment box let me know if you like intermediate transitions like this and i might consider start making more intermediate friendly material also if you're brand new to pole check out some of my beginner friendly floor work tutorials and some of my beginner friendly pole tutorials tag me in all of your dancing i would love to pop into your page on instagram 